So, Ariel Alasco just announced she's selling off her last remaining wall hanging, you know, the ones that are made from the recycled wooden lats, the ones that you like used to plaster to. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to go out and make one in this week's episode of When Will I Learn? To rip someone off, but in a good way. Let's go. So I first came across her work a couple of years ago on Instagram and instantly fell in love with it. I think at the time I was probably just getting into spoon carving and she does that as well and she does that beautifully, beautifully. And I'm going to do another video probably on spoon carving in which I'll talk about how that affected my life. Her work's been really influential on my mental health uh, in a very, very positive way. Uh, which is almost unusual for Instagram, which is usually detrimental. So about a year ago, I was helping renovate a house. We ended up taking out loads of this lap material and I decided to just save a load because I thought, you know, I really, really love these tables, these wall hangings. One day I'd like to make something like that if I ever have the need for a tabletop. This announcement that this is our last piece kind of made me think, do you know what? I this is when I should do this this build because I didn't want to when I first saw this stuff I didn't want to rip it off I didn't want to copy it I saw that a lot of people were doing that I really wanted to buy a piece to be honest but I couldn't afford it <laughs> with this being like her final release of this you know into the wild I thought it'd be a great time to to make my own and not feel like I was ripping her off. Let's jump straight into it. So one consideration I had for this project was I wanted to do it as much as possible out of recycled or reclaimed materials. So the actual base body of this is some OSB that I used to do some shuttering a little while ago. So I just needed to layer that up and reinforce it. This tabletop is to go in my mum and dad's garden, so that's where I was working. And this is basically just me going through reinforcing a frame behind these boards of OSB. And then once I'd done that and squared it up, it was a case of trying to mark on some sort of design, which I tried to I tried to design it on paper first, and I scrapped that idea. Then I tried to design it onto the actual board, and I quite quickly scrapped that idea as well. And I decided to just kind of go for it. So the first couple of lines I drew were just to get some 45 degree angles and then I just started cutting pieces and worked from there. So each piece was cut to length, then glued to the board and then nailed to keep them down while the glue was drying. This first day that I was working on it, I really didn't have the time to like actually enjoy the work because I was doing other stuff as well. One of the things I had to do was like remove nails as and when they turned up. So it's kind of started to come together and it just, it kind of, the pattern formed itself. And I really like the pattern that kind of came out of it. So I don't know if this was really the right way to do it or if this was the way Ariel was doing it. 
but I just cut them so they overhung and then trimmed up afterwards with the circular saw and then went with the planer and the old bill sander. It's a really, really easy build. So like I said, this was going to be made out of completely recycled materials and so I used my biggest circular saw to cut strips of the beams that went with the lat and planed up the edges and they look really really nice. I think they're probably from the 40s and then they were just glued and, and nailed onto the sides with mitres at the corners. I'm really really happy with the way this turned out. The top needs probably some sanding and some finishing but beyond that it's kind of done at this point. So there you have it. This isn't a tutorial, really. It's it's more of a tribute um, to one of my favourite artists, and it's something that I've been intrigued by for a long time. I think the materiality of it is is really interesting, um, and I love the fact that you can make something this beautiful out of wood that you know, soaked up carbon dioxide um, sort of 80 years ago and you know, you're not really, other than nails and glue you're not wasting any new resources and I reckon on that note, it's time for me to bugger off if you like watching not tutorials and if you enjoyed sitting through what you just sat through, maybe you should we should hit that subscribe button. And keep commenting, guys. I really, really like the comments. Um, I just want to know what you guys think is interesting. So, yeah. That's it. Laters.